In this video we're going to look at how to find the mean and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So here's an example. Uh, we've taken a random sample of families in some city and uh, determined how many cars they own and the results are reflected in this uh, probability distribution. This is a discrete probability distribution because we know the number of cars somebody owns is a countable it's a countable number, okay? And in fact, in this city, it looks like uh, each family owned somewhere between one and five uh, cars. And then the second column gives us the, uh, the proportion of the sample uh, who owned that many cars. So if we want to find the mean and standard deviation uh, of this distribution, uh, we're going to go into stat and press the stat button, and we want to edit the lists so just go ahead and press enter on option number one and we are going to type in uh, both columns of data so I'm gonna type in one two three four and five in the first column and then in the second column I'm going to do uh, 29 percent 46 percent 15%, 8%, and 2%. Then all we have to do is go back to the stat button, press stat again, uh, go over to the calc menu, and we want one variable stats. So go ahead and press enter on choice number one. Uh, your list of values of your discrete variable that should be uh, given under list so that was column one for me and then under frequency list we want to put the column where we put the the probabilities so I'm going to put list two there so to get L2 you'll have to press the second button uh, and then the two key so we want list to be L1 we want frequency list to be L2 and then we can calculate so this gives us a mean of 2.08, 2.08, okay, that's the sample mean. And then the standard deviation is 0.966, okay. So the mean is 2.08, so the average number of cars owned by a family in this city is just over two cars. And the standard deviation is pretty close to one, uh, which means, you know, any number of cars between one and three is somewhat uh, typical. Uh, and anything less than or, or more than that is a little, is slightly less typical. Okay, so that's how we find mean and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution.